So, so how was this last version of Ubuntu, the Ubuntu Droid? It works very fine, but after I get some updates, mm -hmm. and I had to restart the system, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to start off anymore. Okay, so you could not start up to the desktop anymore? No. And that was version 2004? 2004. That was the focal Fossa desktop. So we received some updates and then in fact the system got stuck. So let me see. Uh, we can boot up into a recovery mode and fix the thing, but that's not what you want. You want to test, test out the new distro. Yeah. All right, so yeah, Windows 7 was in fact uh, uh, abandoned some weeks ago. Yes. And because of that, I created uh, a new distro in the style of Windows 7. Um, it has Android built in. It's WinGNU Droid. So, um, yeah, Linux with the look of a good old-fashioned Windows 7 <laughs> desktop, including Android built in. All right? Yeah, yeah. So, I created a system, in fact, a bootable well we should do many things because in fact let's first boot up from from the system let's see if we can do that it's not let's just turn it off and we're gonna boot up from the bootable usb stick that i pushed into this system so let's take a look at that what's gonna happen Okay, we're just gonna boot from it. Because I have this system set it up. And for the watchers, hello watchers. Welcome to channel 48. I thought, let me come live. I saw on my previous video only one like. It's like, yeah. Something bad is happening here on channel 48. I don't see no love anymore. So what's up with the love? I'm not gonna ask for love, you know that, but if you want to see things keep going, then some appreciation of your side is as well welcome. So if you did not check the previous video yet about the G5, you know, I cannot always have the phone that you guys want to see on Android 10. That's not always possible. All systems initialized and started up. Okay, what you're looking at is uh, the new Win GNU 7 system. It's in the style of, uh, of Windows 7, you can say. Of course, it's not Windows 7, it's uh, GNU. And it's not fully in the style of Windows 7. It, it just kind of is, okay? Um, here you can see the windows nice and dark. So this is as well uh, updated uh, Windows 7, 7.1, 7 okay? It's also saying the system is genuine and always activated. Enjoy GNU world. So in the system, this is the mother system that you're seeing that is running from off a USB stick. I have the 32-bit and the 64-bit is in the making, uh, USB, ISO, ISO that we can create a bootable USB from. And now I must find me a nice little bootable USB stick. Let me see how big is the ISO. The ISO is three gigabytes. So this stick should be able to do it. Um, how many USB ports? Do we have more USB yeah, ports, sir? On the side. There's the one more there? Yeah. Okay. USB stick is connected. And... Here it is. It's even mounted. Let me see what it is. Aha. This is... A Linux distro. So let's go ahead and format it. We do that with Gparted. And Gparted is not even 
installed. Shame on you, Buck. Let's connect to the internet. Um, and there we go. Sudo apt get. Oops. Apt. Amazing. I'm installing Gparted. Gparted will help us to format the USB stick. Getting the sources, we're connected to the internet, and it's installing. And in fact, I can't read comments. Uh, thanks, it's a great run. Okay, um, let me see where are we. Channel. <laughs> Look at us there, uh, Eric. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is, this is, this is not good. Okay, so we must uh, make sure that the sound is set to off. Otherwise, we're gonna get some crazy resonation. Hey, turn them on. Okay, though. All right, so uh, um, G110, please. You ask me. You should not ask me. You must go and ask the developer. And when he created it, then I will make a video about it. That's how it works, bro. I see you guys are asking me all sorts of things. Create Android 10 for this device. Create it for that device. I, 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 I don't do these things. We have people doing these things for us, you know? Uh, so, okay, let's get to Gparted. I just installed Gparted, where is it? Oh wait, I know. Um, we're just gonna log bye out. Bye. The system says bye-bye when it's logging off. So amazing. By the way, I will share this uh, this distro as well. And when it will be shared, it will be shared in the description of this video. And then the password for this device of for this for this uh, system will then be hey, we're gonna create the bootable USB stick. I'm 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 being very stupid here. With G uh, with what is it called? With uh, system back. Okay. Um, let me see how to do that. Uh, live system create. There is the distro. There is the USB stick. And then I'm just gonna select right to target. Okay. And why is G parted not installing? I don't understand. Maybe because. Huh? That is crazy. I never saw a thing like that before. But that is probably because we are live. When you are live, all sorts of things can happen. Right, peeps? So, I hope you're enjoying the session, people. Not many of you are talking. You're only looking. I'm sure you know how to type. So, uh, tell me where you're from, and 
what your operating system is that you're running up there. Always interesting to know. Right, Eric? Yes, right. If you're all on Windows or maybe using a Mac. And even if you don't tell me, I can see that in the fantastic analytics that we have here on YouTube. As well, a compliment for our CEO for, you know, bring so many good changes to, to the platform. Thumbs up to her, to Susan Waisiki. Great woman that deserves even more love. So, yeah. Now we have to wait. The system looks good, eh? Het blijft die livestream op YouTube staan. Dan kan ik hem terugkijken. Ik moet eten. Oké, okay, ga jij maar lekker eten, jongen. Uh, wel even een like laten voor de video, hè. Niet weggaan zonder een likeje achter te laten. Want uh, het ziet er beroerd uit de laatste tijd uh, met die likes op die video's uh, die, die ik maak. Dus ja, uh, yeah, mensen willen wat meer variatie, hè. Ik, ik zit alleen maar Android 10 films te posten. Maar ja, ik wil natuurlijk al die telefoons opgedate hebben naar Android 10. Dat is logisch, toch? Ja. You know, I understand that, you know, some of you are sometimes pissed when I make so many Android 10 videos, about, you know, for phones and so, because sometimes you want to see different things on my channel. But these different things are coming. But it's just a one man. This is a YouTuber, you know. I'm not some company that is, uh, <laughs> yeah, 24-7 busy with only YouTube. I also have a, a life. I have things to do in normal life as well. And sometimes I have no time to make videos. And sometimes I have a whole lot of time. Then I make several videos. And then I try to do the things that are kind of important. Such as, you know, these ROMs, these Android 10 ROMs. Just think of it, man. The G5. Look at the G5. Android 10 for the G5. Video got only one like. Miserable. That while two great ROMs came to this phone. Android 10 ROMs. I saw one for sale for 15 euros on Marketplace. This phone. Amazing, beautiful phone still. Nothing wrong with it. It's having a higher build of Android than, than the S9 out there from Samsung and the S8 on original firmware. This thing rocks. So we have rocking developers out there, you know. They deserve all the love and credits. I'm showing the ROMs. So yeah, if you're gonna ask me create a ROM for, for G110, uh, then I'm gonna ask you who me? You know, with big question mark, because I don't create ROMs. I put mods together, but that is just, you know, mods. But the real developing is, is happening by, by XDA guys that know how to code and that know about these things right right we are just the ambassadors yeah we are only the ambassadors the dressmans and the shoe polishers <laughs> <laughs> that's what we are and we make sure you know that we make some nice videos and whoever has the phone you know even if there are not so much users anymore even if there are viewers that are like, why is this guy in God's name posting a, f a, a, a video again about a 2015 phone? Well, because the biggest group of my people that come to Channel 48, they are not such rich people, you know? And yeah, I have something with the poor, you know? And yeah, I knew many poor people in my country as well, you know, when I was young and, and yeah, even though I was not coming from a poor family, um, yeah, I, I had many poor friends and, and I learned so many great things uh, from these people, how to do a whole lot with just a little, you know? I mean, like, my friend would have a, a pocket radio that somebody threw away and then he opened it and built it in some, some little wooden box and then he connected some, some, some speaker to it and the thing was playing music mm. for us. We mm. were old, 11 years, 10 years old or so. That was something fantastic yeah, at the time. Yeah, you know? 
to create something from almost nothing. Sure. I think that is that is way more fortune than than when you have a big bag of money and you can go and buy everything. Yeah, true. You know, I, I find it more fun to to be on an Android 10, on the G5, for instance, that works so nice, or the S8, than to have a S10 or maybe another phone running already on that same Android 10. Because that Android 10, yeah, that was set it in by by you know by tweaking. It was not there, just out there, uh, yeah. Many people don't know about these things. If that guy knew that, that he could install Android 10 on his G5, he would not be selling it for 15 euros. Are you out of your mind? He would probably hold it, keep it uh, for himself. Yeah, true. Huh? I mean, like, let's be honest. Okay, we're at 43% peeps. We're still... Uh, creating a bootable USB stick. Everybody's very quiet in the room. I think they are scared to talk. <laughs> they are scared for <laughs> for me to get pissed off. Of their eating. Oh yeah, they are eating while watching the video. Well, it's not so very interesting at this point. What we're doing uh, is we're creating a bootable USB stick that must be done properly. It's happening over USB 2. So yeah. It's, it's, it's a little bit slower than normal. So yeah, we can talk a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, I love this development, man, that is going on. And, and, and that we can create distributions, hey? That yeah. we can give a distribution the look and feels that we want to give it. Make it as cute and beautiful as we, as we want. That we don't have to wait for for, uh, hey, where is the thing? Oh, there it is. That we don't have to wait for for some company to release it, that we can make it ourselves. I think that is that is the most fantastic thing in the world. That is the most, fan I'm here for the looks and feels. Yeah, there you go. The look and feels, it's all about look and feels. Me too. I love look and feels. How the thing looks. It's the same as when we go to, 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 to some show, Eric, and we must play somewhere. Yeah, true. You know, if we're gonna wear suit, suits, then it will not fit with our music. The people want to see the guy with the Rasta hat, you know, and, and uh, yeah, it's, that's just how it goes. They want to see the colors red, gold, and green, you know, and like woman, you know, when a woman dress up, she must, you know, the look and feels must be good. She was smell good, but hey, I once saw a beautiful woman. I'm gonna tell you one thing. I was performing in in the discotheque where you as well were as well, and then uh, I saw this 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 beautiful girl, and I start talking to her, and then she came very close to me, and then I smell her mouth. <laughs> you know, I was totally really, immediately I was, I was ba I back off immediately. I always have this little spray with me, you know, and then you can spray it in your mouth. Really, trust me, before talking to a pretty girl, open your mouth, spray a little bit in your mouth, and as well open her mouth and spray a little bit in her mouth, you know, and tell her, mm, that is nice, eh? open your mouth, you know, and then you then you talk close and or kiss or whatsoever, you know, because some people have a, a amazing bad breath, you know, you come, you come close and you're like, God, what is that? Oh my goodness. Or maybe you yourself have a bad breath. So it's it's very important to have this this uh, this this little thing in your in your you know in your pocket. Always walk with it. Yeah. So you can spray a little bit in your mouth. The thing costs two two quarters or so, fifty cent. But you always smell good out of your mouth. When you talk to a woman and you, and you want you want her to like you, then you must use Paco Rabanne. You know what is Paco Rabanne? I once made a video about it. And I didn't know, but I was always using Paco Rabanne. And at a certain moment, I'm talking to two, two cute ladies, you know. And uh, they told me that that smell is making them, yeah, get in some ecstasy, you know. 
they, 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 they start flying in some way. And then, yeah, I remember that. I made a video about it. So if you want to smell good, you know, spend that 25 euros on that bottle called Paco Raban. Mm. Success 100% guaranteed if the rest of your, you know, if you take good care of yourself, you know, you can wear your rest ahead, but you must always smell good, clean, clean your body, you know, always 24 seven, two showers a day. Yeah, I shower two times per day, in the morning and in the afternoon. I spent way more water than, than I think my neighbors. Sometimes I shower three times a day, winter or no winter. Before I go to bed, I must shower, otherwise I feel that I, I don't do something good. I must. And then when you go into the bed, the bed is like, you know, it's like amazing the way it feels. No itching on your body and things like that. You know, I can't stand these things. You know, we have two sorts of people. You have people that are positive and negative, and that has not, nothing to do with positive and negative. It has more to do with, uh, with, mag with magnet. Magnet? Magnet. You know, uh, some people, they attract molecules. They attract them and other, other ones, they just, they let go of them. Some people, they as well don't get uh, dirty really fast. You know, and others, they get dirty fast because their body is like a magnet and attracts molecules and dirt, you know, and then these people, they need to wash more often. Puk, you sound like a love guru. I am a love guru. You know, I used to be DJ in some discotheque and we had at least 300 people every Friday there. And when I started out, I started with making pictures from everybody. This was before Facebook even existed. It was, I think, somewhere in 2000, 2006, 2007. At that time we had hives. And uh, that's how I brought the people together and then, you know, the people would see their own pictures on the internet. At that time, it was totally different. People were not that much with pictures and so. That's why I was always with pictures and with videos and so. Yeah. So, um, I would literally hook people up sometimes. I would just uh, look at uh, two people that would look good together and then I would introduce them to each other and I say you get you both get a drink from me if you uh, if you talk for for 20 minutes and have fun with each other and dance to the music that I'm playing you know so I brought many people together in life I like I like seeing happy people you know especially when we have a party somewhere I see some happy people meet meet up and you know, something comes out of it. Others even got married because of me. In fact, I would, I, I wanted to get the girl, but then I thought, let me give it to my friend. And my friend was so happy with her that he married her. He has two children now with her. And last time I saw him in the supermarket mm -hmm. with, his, with his wife, I say, hey, that is you. You guys are married now. Amazing, you know? And that's how you make people happy. When you make others happy, then you get happy yourself too. That's how life works. Life is, you know, it's all about the karma. You're a shipper, a shiper. What, I don't know what a shiper. Uh, do you play guitar? Of course, I, I'm a singer. I'm a singer of a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm the singer of the reggae band, man. Hey, yeah. Eric, why don't you take the guitar? Let's play some no, music. I don't, have the, I don't have a guitar. I have. No, but I don't know. Shall I get it? Shall no, I get no, it? No, no, no. Why not? No, not we can play some some song while we're installing. You know, you hit some notes. Why not? I'm not in the mood now to play something. You're not in the mood. Well, Eric is not in the mood, uh, my friends. This weekend we have no gig. The gig that we had yesterday was cancelled because of some I don't know what, some problem with the neighbors who were complaining. I don't know. I don't know. They said the bass of the reggae <laughs> was so heavy that, <laughs> that the, uh, how you say, that the glasses and everything start, start to shake in the house. It was like an earthquake. It was not the Groningen earthquake, but it was the earthquake of the reggae band. 
so that will be next week again that we're gonna be there i hope you're all enjoying the 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 stay peeps get something to drink you know where the drinks are they are in the kitchen help yourself eh? help yourself it's free service today mm -hmm. eric you you want a drink no if you want a drink yes. okay there we go the life system image is completed so we just created a bootable usb stick i play metal oh you sp trash metal okay yeah we're we're yeah we're not so into trash met metal uh effect uh i know friends that i do have friends that play trash met metal and normal metal music um and rock and hard rock and so but music is music, you know? It doesn't matter if you play metal or you play reggae music or whatsoever. Music is music. Music is the only language that each and every human being understands on earth. So if you understand the language of music, most of the times you're as well a human being that can deal with people. You see, now we're gonna deal. Uh, deal. <laughs> now we're gonna boot into the live system. I, I'm not sure if you. Probably you cannot even see it too good. Eh? I'm very sorry, you know, but that's just how it is. Maybe I can bring you even closer. Hold on. Let me put it in this. You see, then the, I can bring the people closer. Okay, what you're looking at now is the boot up of uh, the USB stick that we created. This is how it boots. It's, uh, it's the tux effect with, um, with the logo. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm trying to bring it a little bit closer. Yeah, in some way it's, it's all too light and... I'm sorry about that. My phone just sucks. It's a piece of... Okay. So the distro password is channel 48. Because I created it especially for you. And you know what happened? I released my distro the other day. And it was called uh, Ubuntu Droid. But I don't know what happened. I, uh, I linked up this distro so everybody were like what happened where is the ubuntu droid you know they got win gnu droid and this is running under uh 1910 i think this is right eric i don't know yes we checked it and you said it i think 1910 1904 disco dingo this is from the disco dingo desktop uh, team so this is Ubuntu 19 Disco Dingo, but it was remade uh, in, yeah, in the style, kind of a bit of Windows 7. Okay, so in fact, you could run this literally on top of your Windows 7 system and not feel like a stranger uh, in GNU Linux world. Okay, because in fact, yeah, this is just a fantastic, really good system, honestly. Okay, so how to install the system? Well, we're gonna again open system back. And I clicked it two times. Password is channel 48. And then we're gonna hit system install and probably you, you this is terrible, hold on. You know what we can do, peeps? You know what we can do? You know what we can do? I'm gonna try to do it very smooth. Very, very smooth. Let me see how to do it. Um, how do I turn the cam from this thing? I think like this. Yes. This is amazing. Okay. Look, now I'm going to give you a better view. Oh, this is great. Thumbs up to iPhone. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, this is the system. Yeah. And, of course, as well, credits to Microsoft eh, for this is, at least, yeah, Microsoft is as well in Linux world now. But, uh, you know, at least for some icons and so, that is uh, Microsoft, eh? it's from them. So this is as well from Microsoft. 
All right, this is only for people that have a Windows system, Windows 7. Well, this was effect to, you know, remember Windows 7 forever, at least for the coming four years, because the system is uh, LTS. All right, so we, we hit system install, all right? Can you see that there, system install? I'm zooming in a little bit, it's amazing. Up here, I'm just gonna put Eric. Login name is Eric. Eric, same password, bro. Same password. Yeah. And we put in the same password. Host name is home. Next. All right. So now you see the partitions here. The partitions that you see here, uh, if you're on Windows, then um, you should with a G part that hello uh, first create uh, yeah you should you should set up these uh, partitions uh, the 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 main thing is that you're gonna have a X4 partition for the root and uh, you can create a swap partition and that will be then for uh, yeah f f as as that that will be your swap file okay so in this case um, yeah. I already did that all, so the only thing that I will have to do is set this to mount point root. Here, format is selected, and I hit the green arrow. So now that partition is X4, and it's mounted as root. This one here, um, yeah, let me see. Can I mount it? I cannot mount it. So the best thing, in fact, to do is to delete this partition and to as well delete this. Oh no, I cannot delete this partition. This is the bootable USB stick. Okay, so I create one partition, boom. That is this one here. And we set it mount point root and we hit format. Alrighty. Now we as well gonna select here in the corner, it's saying transfer user configuration data files and uh, now we can hit next and it's saying install the system using the following restore point and then we say yes so now it's gonna install the system and uh, yeah in a little from now we will have this operating system installed to this computer as the only operating system. Uh, I must as well tell you that this is not a UEFI device. And uh, for UEFI devices, in fact, uh, we should then format the drive differently. We should create a 300 partition, FAT partition, FAT32 partition at the beginning of the drive. And then we can create the root partition. Yeah, the one that we just created, the X4. That will be then the second partition. And we can, if we want, create a, a swap partition at the end uh, that will correspond with the memory that is installed in, in the system. You know, so if you have 8 gigabyte, then you're going to put, I, would, I think, 1040 or so, something like that. Just multiply 1000, uh, 1004, or just multiply. Um, 1040 megabytes with eight that number you should then use for for this web file it's 8000 something but if you would put 8000 it would still be fine you know it's all good system is not so critical on that coolest of uh, this is while installing you can do other things. Eh? You can just, uh, where can you download? Oh, I did not, up well, I did upload it already, but um, in fact, it's been online for three weeks already, this, this distribution, but I did not know. I linked uh, by accident this distribution. Oh, this would be a big mistake if Microsoft would do a thing like that, that they would, you know, put out a system that they not even spoke about yet with the public that was secretly in the making and they would release that instead of, you know, the Windows 10 update that they had to release. So people would end up, you know, that they would come into the news, but that, that will not happen with Channel 48, of course. But the case was that I linked this distribution that you see here 
in a video where I present another distro, but I as well uploaded this distro to the same uh, yeah, Google Drive, to say this way, and I just messed up. I selected the wrong link. How that happened, don't ask me. But where people work, mistakes are being made. So I said, uh, while installing, you can do many other things. You know, you could listen to music or browse the internet. However, the more you do, the slower the installer will go. But playing a little radio would not hurt. You know, for instance, the news. And I'm not sure, are we connected to the internet? Let me see. Oh no, we are not even connected to the internet. Can you see, eh? This is such a nice system. We are not even connected to the internet. It's installing, not asking crazy questions. Not asking me nada. It's just installing, you know? I love GNU. And I love the system because I removed all the, yeah, they say Ubuntu is spyware, etc. And so, so I removed all that, whatever they say about Ubuntu, out of my distros. I, I always remove these things out of my distro. So there will be no apport and, and, you know, don't worry, Ubuntu, nobody will spy on you. Even the, the firewall is set to on. You don't have to worry about that because if you're going to look into the system and you're going to look for firewall, you will not find no firewall. The firewall is set it on in the terminal. Many people don't know about these things, you know. So I do that, you know, I do that for the people. So when the people install my system, they have a good system that works good, that protects the people, that helps the people, not a system that is stressing out the people. And you know what? I'm going to tell you why I love Microsoft so much. Really. I love Microsoft so much. You know why? Because thanks to Microsoft creating Windows 8 and 8.1 and 10 and whatever they are creating now, I learned how to make my own distros. Think of that, man. Just think of it. Even though I did not write all the codes, you know, but Ubuntu will let me build my own distro from almost scratch. From the 60 megabytes ISO file that you can download and the rest will happen via the net. Yeah. And then I don't install no server, eh? because I do that from all the terminal. Then I start building, you know, I, I put in the, 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 the server, what, which one I want to use, the X yeah. desktop. And so, so I improved a whole lot since then. Because before I would use uh, uh, standard distribution and remake that one and then save it as a distro. But now, you know, I'm, I'm starting with the 60 megabyte file or a total minimal installation uh, of Ubuntu, such as in the 2004 version. Because there is no mini CD for, or mini ISO for that, uh, for that build. So I installed it uh, minimal to the system. That's really cool uh, of Ubuntu. You know, you can install a minimal uh, system with only, yeah, I think the bare minimum, only a browser, etc. But when I install, there is nothing. No browser, no calculator, no, no, nothing. And all these things I, I put in myself. And that's how I built up the system. So I know exactly what the system has and what it can do and what it cannot do. But everything that it cannot do, can it, it, it can still do by just putting it in. I put in this uh, GIMP tool. I think that is a great tool for, you know, that's how I create these icons, this, this, these things I create with GIMP. It's built in. We have two web browsers, Chromium web browser and Firefox. Firefox is the main main web browser in dark mode. Oh yeah, hey, that's all, as well something, eh? 
after we install the system, we will have to disable the add the add-ons and then enable them again. So they will be, uh, yeah, they will be working. Otherwise, it won't work. We're at 34 percent. Eric, you sure you don't want to drink something, bro? Yeah, bring the tea. No, no, I'm not gonna make tea now, man. I have a show to do. Drink what? I'm gonna get something or something else to drink. Credits to Hans Hundred Manfred. This is a can that I have from Manfred. It's nice juice. Mm -hmm. So there we are. We're back. And I wonder, is Bob in the house? Bob, are you in the house? Where are you, Bob? Bob is one of my, one of my admins. I don't see Bob. What is Wing Nu Droid? Wing Nu Droid is Ubuntu that was remade, yeah, to look like Wing Nu Droid. And it's in fact uh, um, a farewell to Windows 7, because Windows 7, um, Windows 7, uh, yeah, they got obsolete and they stopped, in fact, with Windows 7. And this is, uh, you can say, a souvenir for everybody, for, for, ev for everyone who loves uh, Windows 7. And, yeah, want to get into GNU world. This is uh, really for uh, for users that 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 don't know about Linux and want to try out something that at least they kind of understand a bit, you know, qua look and feels. So that is uh, that's about it. It's it's just Ubuntu. It's uh, they are they are the maintainers of this operating system. Uh, I will put the download link uh, in the description after this video is done. After we install this, uh, I will uh, put uh, the link in the description so you can uh, go ahead and download it. And then you can run it live on top of your uh, existing Windows system. So if you are running Windows 7 and your Windows 7 is outdated, you know, you should not use it on the internet anymore, then, in fact, you just reboot into this system, and then you boot the system on top of your system, and, uh, yeah, then use it for the internet, for, you know, this is safe. You're having the latest security patches, the latest browser, the latest everything, powered by Firefox and by, by, uh, by Chromium. So you have a good system. Oh. So that is it. Oh. But it's a nice system eh, to look at. This is... Uh, yeah, a souvenir for all my Windows 7 users that are sorry that, you know, Windows is not continuing. And this is... I just explained it, uh, guys. I just said it. Maybe somebody else can retype whatever I just said. 
otherwise I will have to repeat myself all the time. But this distro you can download after the show is done. Okay. So if you pop in and you check the video, you like the video, leave the video thumbs up. Okay. So I will put the distro for you guys and girls out there. So you can have a nice new system to play with. And run it on top of your existing Windows system, your Windows 7 system. So you don't have to go on the internet with your Windows 7 anymore. You're probably soon gonna update to Windows 10. And this is a nice alternative to have and to hold, and to use as an extra operating system. One that is free, one that you can share with your friends. This operating system is completely free. It's, uh, it has no proprietary software installed. Win GNU Droid. That's right. You can also say Wing Nu, Wing Nu Droid, depending on how you're gonna read it. But in fact, it's Win Gnu Droid. But in the worst case, we can also say it's Wing Nu Droid. Wing Nu Droid. It's just a name. But in fact, it's Gnu with Windows looks and Android built in. Okay, there are no distros like this. I'm the only one worldwide creating these distros, you know, for, 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 for the community. In fact, these are unofficial distros. Because, in fact, these are just, yeah, how can you say? These are Ubuntu distros. Yeah. The credits for the machine that goes to Ubuntu. True. And to Debian. You know, to Richard Stallman, to many people. All people that want, you know, we computer users to have a free operating system that we can use, change around, uh, give away, uh, start the store and, and start selling it. You know, become a millionaire. Go read, go read on the, on the website from, uh, from uh, Richard Stallman. Go read. I know it's a simple website. It's an old school website. Maybe, yeah, <laughs> you don't find it interesting enough to even look at it. But go read what he's saying. And then go, go and create. And that's what I'm doing. I'm creating the most beautiful systems in the world. I'm talking big, yeah. I know. Good, good system. I can I can make the system as beautiful as I wish. I, tonight, I want to. In fact, I wanted to make. How is this storm called that is coming tomorrow? Yeah. Kiara. I wanted to make Kiara OS, and probably I will before the storm will arrive. We're gonna get a big storm tomorrow. I will make some footage from it, and I will make pictures for the wallpapers of Kiara OS <laughs> tomorrow. So I'm going to create Kiara OS tonight. I'm going to do it on, on Ubuntu 1964-bit. Or maybe I should do it on 32-bit so everybody can use it. And I use a PAE system. So even if you use 32-bit and you have 8 gigabytes, all 8 gigabytes will be then used. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. These PAE systems. If the thing has PAE, then uh, it's all good. You know what PAE means, eh? PAE. That means father. Yeah. Pa'e. In Indonesian language, we say father. Pa'e. Pekabare pa'e. Ape. That is Indonesian language. Japanese. Japanese. That's Japanese. That's not Malaysian. Malaysians, abakabar. Abakabar. They speak Malaysian in Jakarta. Jakarta, it's Malaysian. Uh, yes, it will work for replay. No, this is not a replacement for Windows 7. Don't see this as a replacement for Windows 7. I can never replace Windows 7. Nobody can. 
It's a look-alike. It's a look-alike. <laughs> it's 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 for somebody that loves Mercedes, but he has Opel Opel. <laughs> and he makes it looks like Mercedes. Yeah, I say I just say something. Yeah, yeah. it's you cannot see this as a replacement. Like the inside is a Toyota. Yeah, the is a Mercedes. as Mercedes. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is definitely a Toyota. Linux is GNU is Toyota. Toyota good engines, good good everything. I have a Toyota myself. Toyota are good cars. Very good cars. Yeah, and when you're drunk, you call it Wingnu. Yeah. And when, and when you're sober, you call it Wingnu. Wingnu. <laughs> It depends. Yeah, we we could also put some wings, eh? Some wings. We should make a, a effect. Yeah, this this little. Uh, let me think. What could we do? We could. No, this one is good like this. This one is good, but in the future we 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 we, we, we could give it wings, eh? You, this is in fact Android sitting on the lap of Tux. You see that? I thought about this. And in fact, with the Pi built in, in fact, in my other, in my other, in the Ubuntu Droid, I have the Android, the little Android man, holding a Pi in his hand, and it's giving a piece to the, to 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 Tux. So Tux and 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 Android, they are very good friends. They love each other. Android is the little friend from 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 Tux. You see? And that's the way I want it to be in operating systems. And finally, I can bring that to, thanks to GNU, I can bring my ideas to you. How I would like to see operating systems. It's because the Mac project is a little bit too complicated for me at this time. I must study it even better. But I would love to have a system with, with all sorts of operating systems built in, but I stepped from that idea off because then I must deal with proprietary software, and I don't want proprietary software in my in my system because otherwise I cannot give it to you. You understand? Then it's proprietary. So certain things are not installed, so as such as DRM. If you go to certain websites such as our fantastic uh, national public television station, these guys, they want you to enable DRM before you can even watch any stream that was supported by, by our government to, 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 to the citizens. These guys are pimping the citizens with DRM. It's unbelievable. That's why I'm watching only American TV. I have my Android apps that will let me watch American TV 24-7. It's good for everything. It's good for my language. I speak English. I learned to speak English even better as a Dutchman. And I'm not being set up with a whole lot of nonsense. So certain things are not installed in my distributions. They are just not. Because Richard Stallman would not like that. And if it's against his rules, then in fact, yeah. I don't like it, you see? I want to keep it free and clean and natural and beautiful, more beautiful than any other system. And I know I'm talking big, but I have eye for beauty. Some people just don't have eye for beauty. They are very smart with, with, with putting it together, but then you need, the, you need a special person for the, for the beauty. Such as, for instance, uh, at Apple, this this guy, he, he, he quitted the job because he was responsible for all the beauty that you see in Apple devices. I learned so much from him. I forgot his name. He, he left the company, but he's still doing the beauty work for Apple. The system is installed, by the way. He's still doing the beauty work for Apple, but uh, he's doing it on his own department now. Okay. Yeah. But he, he left because he, he, he said Apple was not even, you know, once in a while they came and look and see what was going on, and totally not interested, so he left. He said since J Steve Jobs left, in fact, the things 
things changed at Apple. And that's just how it is. When certain people leave, then it's over. Then you don't get what, 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 I removed the stick by the way now. Then you don't get it anymore the way it, it was. So there we go. And now we can boot the system. So if I look at, at things now, you know, how it is, then to me, there is no better operating system than GNU. But the problem is that teachers at school, they don't learn uh, the youth about GNU. How interesting would it be that all these youths from now, instead of only looking on their smartphone and, and, and being on social media 24-7 and care uh, and worry what others think about, uh, about them, is, is terrible. They can better be busy with, with, with GNU. Then they immediately learn that all those things are not good. Not good for humanity, not good for many things. You see? So we just logged in, and now we're going to, of course, use the password that we created during the install. And we just install the system. And probably you will not hear the welcomes greeting now. It will not say um, system initialized and started up because I said the sounds, that is also a privacy thing that I find a problem. Whenever you install any operating system, the mic is wide open and these things, they have built in microphones. So the moment you go on the internet, in fact, you're broadcasting whatever is happening in your room. And I didn't like that. So I turned that off in the OSs that I you know, put together. I make sure the mic is off and the sound is set to off. And you must turn it on yourself. And then, you know, at the next boot, you will hear your little welcomes message saying uh, all systems initialized and started up. And this is as well something that I forgot <laughs> about my own distro. Um, what we should do is uh, we're going to log off again, log out. This is very important to show to you. Whenever you're gonna see your account, yeah, you're gonna hit here on the little wheel at the sign in, and you're gonna set it to cinnamon, okay? Because this is a cinnamon system. And then we're gonna log in. And all new watchers, welcome to the live show. We are doing the installing show again. And there it is. Uh, and uh, you will get it with a black desktop because you have wallpaper choice. Yes, in my system, you have wallpaper choice. And what means wallpaper choice? Well, that you will decide your own wallpaper. Okay, so if you want to change your wallpaper, you can do two things. You can go into your home folder. And there you're going to find your picture folder. And up there you will find the standard um, wind gnu uh, night and day, day background. Okay. So you will have a, a day background and a night. This is the night. You can just set it as wallpaper and then it will look like this this is the the night wallpaper this is for at night you see it's it's a bit darker it's it's just beautiful and because it's night i'm gonna leave it on night oh yeah here you cannot see the corner because i have my phone on it but you have four desktops that you can go to so this is win gnu droid 7.1 okay it's an update and uh, here you see that the sounds are set to off Okay, that is to respect your privacy. Alrighty. 
uh, here the input, you see that, is set to off. Hello, hello, testing, now it's set to on. You see that? Uh, the output is as well set to off. You can set it on now, okay? And uh, we as well have sounds, and the sounds you can set on. And whenever you start up the next time, this is what you will hear. Okay, we can still not hear it too clear because the sound is very low, but you should hear this. All systems initialized and started up. Okay, so yeah, this is the system after you installed it. Guys, this is still Ubuntu. Don't forget it's Ubuntu, uh, but it's kind of yeah, clean. Yeah, I don't like to say bad things about the mother OS, you know. People say, yeah, Ubuntu spyware, even Richard Stallman said it, you know. So I removed those parts out of the operating system just to, you know, not let you think that, that these things are still in there. They are not, you know, we as well have Bleach Bit. That's a, a, a tool that you can open as root and it will let you clean up the system. At this point, guys, really, you have an operating system that you... Now you have to put the Firefox add-ons. Yes, now we're going to do the Firefox add-ons. I'm first going to... Uh, first log into Wi-Fi. Okay, we are logged in. That is really immediately out of the box. This is such a nice operating system, my peeps. <laughs> really, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. And it's not about the background or the look and feels. You know, I think all my distros look good. Mm. All of them. All of them. All of them are just beautiful, and that's thanks to the artwork of hundreds of people, thousands of people. You don't want to know how many people worked on this and that agreed that it, it's a free operating system and that, that you can have it and, and that you can use it and that you can copy it to, to, to all your computers in the house and, and you can give it away and you can even sell it. You can ask a fee, for, but, you know, but you can never say, you can never say, when you're gonna give this away or sell it or whatsoever, you can never say to the people that they cannot change it or they may not give it away or they may not sell it. So this is from everybody. You understand? Yeah. I only put it together and I give it away free. And yeah, in this case, this is a collector's item, Win Gnu Droid. You know, I, I yeah, I'm not sure if I'm, you know, I will only share this on, uh, yeah, I do that with all the Windows collector's items because, yeah, I don't want to put it out there as if this is, you know, the, the, the solution for Windows 7, because it's not. This is not Windows. This is GNU. And, um, now, yeah, in ieder geval, what happened here to this phone? Why this... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, why is my phone going to Google? But <laughs> of course, I'm watching the broadcast from this from this operator from this thing. Okay, so the first things first. Okay, first things first. Uh, you you're gonna go to uh, add-ons. It's very important, and then you're gonna see all the add-ons that I added in this system. Okay, up here we're gonna first um, we're gonna turn off the add-on. Turn off the add-on, turn off, turn off, turn off, oops, turn off. How do we go back there? Uh, turn off, okay. So they are all disabled now. And then we quit the browser. And we say close steps, boom. And then we open the browser again, even though it has the Explorer icon. It's Firefox, guys, really, and you can already see that we now go again to add-ons, all right? And now we're going to enable it, enable, 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 Firefox updated that. This is a great update. Normally, I I had to do it. No, you see, everything is now enabled. All the add-ons are now enabled. It's set to radio. This is a built-in radio that you have in your browser. It's set to Radio Apinti because I'm from Suriname and, you know, I, I wish that, you know, 
Suriname people would as well use GNU because it would be better for them, way better than all these things that they are using, outdated operating systems. Um, we have a uh, speech plug-in that will let you easily read the news. Well, you won't have to read it. It will be read to you. That is as well something that I'm missing in operating systems. The day that I discovered the high pants plug-in, I immediately pushed it into all the distros standard so every distribution can enjoy a built-in speech reader whenever it's gonna start reading don't tell me hi pan what are you doing read it to me oh okay this is my bad okay good that this is happening on cam then you understand what you must do up here you're gonna hit on the little wheel and then you're gonna get here it's set to google wavenet dutch anna i i don't know why it's on that it should be on google translate uh in my case dutch okay we can only use google translate so google translate is out there in many languages do you see that i need dutch and then um it will read it perfectly now. If you think, oh, she's reading a little bit too slow, uh, what I do, I put it one, two up, okay, and then try again. Maybe it's one to maybe it's one one tap too fast. One back like that. It should be like this. This is perfect. Listen to this. This is almost like listening to the radio. So this is how you can listen to the headlines of Google News. And then if something interests you, you can go ahead and click on it. While it's reading to you, you can do all sorts of other things. You can um, only not close the browser, of course. But uh, for instance, if it's reading, let me show you that. That is also very spectacular, I think. It's reading now. I'm closing the complete page of the news. You see that? And uh, it, ke it keeps reading. You see that? It doesn't... Uh, want me to you know i can do it doesn't push me to do anything i can do everything i wish it's not sitting there on my neck and forcing me to you know i can listen the thing is to listen to uh, about youtube i'm gonna tell you honestly um uh even though you have a, a pop-up uh, thingy you know, YouTube, it will not block no ads, okay? So, yeah. And as well, uh, at XDA developers is free, uh, Android file host, all these things, you know? What is this? I don't know what that is. Um, all these sites, my friend's sites, I they are not in the ad blocker, okay? And I want you to keep it that way because that would be very nice, right? So... I think that's it. We installed it and system is good to go. Um, about, yeah, you have no dock in this case. It's just like being on Windows 7. Okay. Home for, oh yeah, Android. How to activate the Android. That's the most important thing. Here you're going to find in your home folder a little uh, Android man. You see that there? Open it and right mouse click. And then um, open in terminal. 
yeah and what you're gonna type is sudo oops not with capitals sudo alien space apostrophe psi and then the exact name of this package you get the exact name by right mouse clicking it and then hit on rename and then including the rpm select the complete everything that you see there and then copy it and go back to the terminal screen and paste it after the sigh you see that this is the line take a good look at the line study this line make a screenshot write it down okay though you got that good and then you hit enter and then put in the password and then it's gonna stand there for a little as if nothing is happening but a whole lot is happening i can show that to you if you're gonna look at this file here you're gonna see that it's gonna it's gonna change you see that it's working now on the background so even though nothing is happening in the command window it's at work on the background and the only thing the system asks of you now is to have some patient patience and then when this is done guys with virtualization built in get thanks to kimu that i also pushed into the distro immediately run android from out their desktop this desktop however we will not be able to do that so um yeah android x86 also thought about that not everybody has uh laptops with virtualization built in these are the more expensive models have that so um they made it in a way that you will then get a, a dual boot so the next time when we're gonna boot up when this process is done and we're gonna reboot the system we will get into a menu and suddenly android will as well be in that menu and in this case we're talking about android 9 or no this is lineage os 14.1 this is, uh, yeah, no, this is not Android 9. I wanted this to run on all the systems as well. So all the 32-bit systems can install this, including 64-bit systems. Which, Although, which, which Android? With Android. Which Android is this? This is uh, Android uh, 7.12. Oh. But it's a good Android. It's, it's the same, same thing, almost. But for instance, if you're going to install this distribution to, for instance, an, an old dual core laptop, a 32-bit system with 2 gigabytes of RAM, then you can still run Android. So it would not be wise to push in Android 9. I thought, you know what, I'm just going to put Lineage OS 14.1. That is my, yeah, my favorite, you know, Lineage OS. So that's what I pushed in. And as soon as this process is done, we can then reboot the system into Android. And then you saw a complete installing of the WinGNU Droid. There it goes. It's starting. It's starting. Look at that. It started. It's unpacking the CMX86 over 14.11. There you go, generating grub. There you go. So we did it. And now we're gonna just sudo reboot la system. Madame and Monsieur. And look what you're gonna see. Now you're gonna see some magic. Now you're gonna see some magic, my man. Cause there's magic in the air and it's nothing everywhere. 
there. So give me the night. And there is Android. You see that? And we can now boot Android. Just give me the night. And there we go. Let it show us, my man. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at that. Yeah, if you know another distro that comes like this that you can download somewhere on the internet, you must let me know, okay? Because then I will take a look into that. But I don't see no distros that come this way. That with one little command you activate the Android and boom, you have Android. And soon we're going to have Android 10. So that means <laughs> very soon from now, I will bring to you GNU OS with Android 10 built in for PC and laptops, 32 and 64 bit. Just think of it. Yeah, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for that one. Just think of it. <clears throat> That is beautiful. Yeah, it takes a long time. It's old laptop, eh, this. Takes a little, but you must have patience. And when it's done, when it's uh, finally booted up, next time boot will be really fast. Android is always a little bit uh, slow, slower in booting after the first install. On certain devices, not on all devices, especially Android 7.12. We see, uh, we saw great improvements uh, in startup time since Android 9, I think, and now Android 10. In fact, even my Samsung S2 boots with 13 cycles after or 10 cycles after the installing into the setup screen already and there it is lineage os it's booted up wow there we go oh <laughs> did you ever see such a big lineage os yo oh this is sorry for that peeps i must put the cam good for you oh look at this this is amazing we go next Next, we set up as new. We're not gonna connect to the Wi Fi, don't use any network for now. Next, this is Mr. Eric. Next, I will just for now. Yeah, this is this is a problem. This is a problem. This has to do with with with. You can better leave it on. <sighs> Help to improve Linux OS. Uh, this thing is still being updated, so yeah, why not? And now start, and there we go. Uh, I would advise you to go for taskbar, because, you know, you don't want your screen to turn on you. Uh, so <laughs> it's better to go for taskbar, always. I understand. So now we have a great Android system, including a VoIP phone that you can probably actually use. You should be able to set up a calling account, a SIP account. Yes, you can. You see that? So you can have a desktop phone, create a SIP account and learn about SIP. YouTube, everything is installed. Let me see if... Okay, Google Play services keep stopping. Oh gosh, what is this? Yeah, we gotta connect with the Wi-Fi. Wi yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, I'm just... Uh, let me see something. Let's go full screen. Security. Um, device administrator. 
Android Device Manager. I'm gonna deactivate it for now. And we're gonna go to Applications. And I'm gonna disable this one. And I'm gonna force stop that one and disable it as well. So now, in fact, we have a custom RAM. So now, in fact, we uh, disabled uh, uh, the Google services. So we won't get no crashes. And then I advise you to install F-Droid or so and, and find some applications for your own. I think this, this, this distribution effect should come without Google services installed. I'm not sure why they are installed. So yeah. yeah but but then, I'm not gonna use this one. No, no. This is just for uh that is as well in built in. Okay, so uh we're gonna reboot. Uh to reboot just hit the power button and then hit reboot and then the system will reboot. So that was it, uh ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, see how to turn the cam like this then um yeah <laughs> oh my goodness this is a little bit amateuristic filming but it's uh yeah this is youtube eh? this is not some <laughs> so i want to wish you a good weekend yes. okay yes. have fun with your system uh, i will put the link in the description later after i uploaded it and then i want to thank you for uh, watching i hope you enjoyed the show and uh, then I see you in the next video again. Bye bye. 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 Oh, I cannot. <laughs>